Hi everybody, today I'll show you how to create Elementor Mega Menu in WordPress. So let's just begin. Alright, so to create the Max Mega Menu in Elementor, you will need the help of one plugin. So for that, we have to go inside the plugins and click on the Add New Plugin. And here what I need to do, I have to search for Elements Kit. Okay, so we have to search for Elements Kit, Elementor Add-on and Templates Library. Okay, so now let's click on Install Now. And here you have to click on activate. All right, so right now what you need to do, you have to refresh the page. And now we have to go inside the LMS kit. All right, so this is the dashboard of the LMS kit. So from here, we have to go inside the header footer. And in here, what we need to do, we have to click on add new. And here, let's just write down the title of it. So that would be the header. And now you just have to click on edit with Elementor. All right, so here what you need to do, you have to search for Elements Kit Nav Menu. So we have to drag this and put this here. And now what we need to do, we have to select the menu here. So that is the primary. All right, so now what you need to do, we simply have to click on Publish. And now let's go back to our WordPress dashboard. All right, so now let's go inside the Elements Kit header footer. All right, so now you can see this, we have created our header. Right now, it doesn't have the mega menu, but we will create that. So we have to activate this first. So let's click on edit. And you have to click on activate. This would be the header. All right. So here in the conditions, what you need to do, you have to click on this and you can see the option of the entire side. So we have to click on this. And now let's click on save changes. And now let's close this. And now if you just have a look at our website, you will be able to see our header that we have created with the LMS kit. All right, so now what we need to do, we have to go inside our WordPress dashboard and we have to go inside the menus. And here we have to select the primary menu as we have selected that in our menu. All right, so these are the menu options that we have on our website, as you can see here. So now we will learn to create mega menu here. So first we have to enable LMS kit mega menu so now we have to select any option on which we want you to create the mega menu. So let's go here with the services. And here what I need to do, I have to enable this. And now what I need to do, I have to click on edit mega menu content. And you will be able to see it simply opened up the Elementor editor. Okay, so now we have to design here our mega menu. So let's select the container. That would be the flex box. All right, so I want to go here with the single column structure in the horizontal direction all right and here what i need to do i need to have one more container that will basically have the vertical direction all right so now what we need to do we have to write down list here so in the list you can see here we have the option of the page list here by elementor skit okay so we have to drag this and put this here and here we have to add the item so let's add the item okay so here you can see the text so i'm going to go here with these options about reviews why as and the contact okay so let's just start here with the about and you can add the subtitle as well if you wanted to and if you wanted to change the background type you can simply do this from here and if you wanted to have the icon you can also have it okay and here you can see the option of select page and the custom links Okay, so if you have the pages on your website, it will show you the pages here. Otherwise, you can go here with the custom link. So right now we are going here with the custom link. So let's write down about here. And I think this will work fine. So similarly, we can add the second item and we can also copy this. So let's click here and copy this. That will be easier. All right, so the second would be reviews. Here we have the background type. And if you want to show the icon, you can simply do this. Right now in the link, I'm going to simply paste reviews. And in a similar way. So here you have to add the link of the page. Okay, so let's copy paste these. All right. So let's change the order here. All right, so now this is looking better. And what we need to do, we have to go inside the settings. So in the settings, you can see here we have the layout option. So if I just click here on the inline everything would come on the inline okay but right now i want to go here with the default value and uh, you can see we have the target and the rail as well okay 
and if you wanted to style our mega menu you can simply do this from here so let's click on style let's just add some padding here so that would be 20 px this is looking better and if you wanted to add the margin you can also add the margin but i think i'll just go here with the padding all right so similarly you can see the options here of the box shadow background type and the background type on the hover effect and also the alignment and you can also see the divider so if i enable the divider you will be able to see these signs but i'm going to disable this and you can see we have the icon we have the text and we have the subtitle and we have the label so if you wanted to have the icon you would simply go back and you can simply click on any item here and here you have to enable show icon and now you will be able to see the icon here okay and from here you can select the icon whichever you want but right now i would disable this all right so now what i need to do i have to open up the navigator now what i want to do i simply want to duplicate this let's just do it again let's just do it one more time all right all right so right now as you can see here that we are having our mega menu here but the menu options or the values that we have here is kind of dummy okay so now let's just update these values to the actual services so let's click on the about so here i'm going to write down seo and for the second one this would be the sem and after this we're going to have e-commerce all right so after this we're going to have social media marketing All right, so right now I'm not updating the links. So what you need to do, you need to update the links accordingly or you need to have the specified page that corresponds with our menu item. All right, so similarly, let's just update our second column. All right, so we have updated our second column. So now let's just update the third column. All right, so in the last, we're going to update our last column. All right, so we have also updated our last column. So now you can see here, we have a list of services on our mega menu. So now let's just update this. All right, so now we have to close this. All right, so here you can also see the option of the settings. So in the settings, you can see that we have the mega menu width, we have mega menu position, and we have enable adjacent store. Okay, so in the width, we are having three different values, and in the position, we are having two values, and in the adjacent, we are also having two different values. And you can also see the two other options here the icon and page. So unfortunately, these options are actually the part of Pro version. So we can simply use this. So right now we're going to go here, our settings. So let's click on save. Now let's just close this. And now we have to save our menu. All right. So now let's just have a look at our website. Click on the visit side. All right. So now if I hover over our services, you will be able to see our services here. So this is how our mixed mega menu is looking and this is how you can create this with the help of Elementor. So if you really find this video useful, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.